Hello. Do you I'm know here. what she made him do? Yeah, come here. Come here, Doc. She's the speakeasy on in it. Don't let Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan shows up Don't. again. You're not gonna let him lead you away, are you? Nope. Are you kidding? My sole concern now is to get back up to my electrokinetic levitator. Good Yay! Day. We've got to distract it, discredit Edna. Edna made Parker close your booth down. I know that. So well, you only open it in town. Yes, I. Oh! That wasn't what I had in mind. What? What? Has Edna told you anything? Edna never confessed anything to you, did she? Like what? Like she's something incriminating. Like, for instance, her being the speakeasy arsonist. Edna, the <laughs> speakeasy <laughs> she arsonist. She was. Then again, why not? But she never said anything about it to you. Nope. Oh. Has Edna told you? Is a uh, is it ready? Assuming we get Parker to open your. I'll ex yeah, I've got it. No, wait till we get. Okay. Um, I'm gonna talk to uh, Officer Hello, Parker. Shmi I'm not me. called Smirnoff. Smirnoff. Um, I just want to talk to Detective Parker. <laughs> Why did you close her? What are you doing? Who listens to it? I was in dirt. Have you seen Carl Sagan? Thanks. Help. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Parker could do eagle free of Edna. Edna's control if he had some dirt in her. Record a confession would be nice. Aha! Ha ha! Who? With a bugged version of in, with a bugged version. Can I record? Ah! Please leave a potted plant. A potted plant? What just got to do with law enforcement? There we go. No. If we could. There we go. Boom! Switch it around. It's perfect. how it's the exact same plant. Swap it. Why? Ha ha! Snap! Ha, ha. See ya, see ya, Trixie. This is a lot of people are at this <laughs> exhibition. Oh, Figuring I'll just go inside the house of the fir future turnstile. Let's go inside, Marty. Go inside, Marty. I wonder if you can actually waste all the tickets. Put put this here. Put the recording device here. I don't think. It's phone button. A phone booth for the future. Yeah. I am Carl Sagan. Can I talk to Edna? Can you get? Hello? Can I get my... Then why is Emmett standing here with this ever so dang... What can I... Well, that puts a... Yes, it does. Yes, I don't care. Why did it burn down? Let Emmett go with this flight. Oh, figure now. I just need to... But Hang on. And all I want to do is place the thing. Hints. Set your chat by in the phone booth. Oh, in the phone booth. Aha, uh -huh, perfect. Absolutely perfect mondo. Inventory. Inventory, place it in there. Place it in. Place it in. Place it in, Marty. This is probably the least action filled, but the most intense. Okay, call me a snoop. There, just press the button. 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 I changed my mind. Did he do? No, no, Marty. Why? I need to press the button. Press it. Call me a Snoop. That's what you should have said. Call me a Snoopy Whoopy Whoop. Those flowers are so beautiful. Hence, did that phone call give all the information to Edna? Edna will only talk about it with somebody she trusts. Carl say so. Okay, forget about it. It records anyway, doesn't it? I like how the helmet's gone. <laughs> it was Carl Sagan, the only arsonist. I was the arsonist. To the oh, this is going to be great. We're going to get you, Edna. You're going to go to jail. Phone booth for the future. Jeez. Always yeah. with the phones. 
Hi, well, I'm, I'm Carl Sagan. Uh, can I talk to Edna, please? See, someone actually wants to talk to you. Nice flowers that I suddenly got here. Why did you burn the speakeasy down? I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. Every night they'd open up their doors serving illegal drinks oh. and women, flaunting their depravity to the world, and the authorities did nothing. Yes, so they I didn't. Did what any right thinking rock willed woman would do. I, I took, took action. action. Oh, and such a gorgeous action it was, too. The, the fires. Oh! Beautiful. The alcohol made them go up in such pretty blue flames. Oh. Where was I? You were explaining why you burned down the speakeasies. <laughs> yes. Did you find my answer to your liking? It yes. Was very revealing. Hang up. What? Jeez, Edna was always alone. She was. Well, confession's good enough for Parker. Oh. Holy Christ. Get there before she realizes what are these flowers doing in this phone booth for the future? Hiya, folks. It's, it's me. me. Clementine. Once again with my presents. And speaking of presents, what better gift could give it? Hey, if you haven't, you. Hello? Oh no. Doc's next. You're next, Doc. Doc, you're next. You're next. Just get those friggin' flowers. Oh crap. Oh crap. Recording device. Put in your pocket. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakies. I think a lot of people are going to be interested in that answer. Yep. Yep, they do. I've got some incriminating evidence on her. <laughs> See ya, Trixie. Hey. Oh. Officer Parker. Um, thanks. Uh, no, I was talking to him. Oh. Hello, Smurf. Shut up, Edna. Excuse me. Shut up. Uh, I've got some dirt on Edna. Yeah. She's a speakeasy arsonist. And that's an interesting... It's the truth. Well... I didn't hear more weight around. Figanel, 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 Figanel. Thanks. Well? Don't make me click on the figure recorded device here. Eh? Oh, hello. There you go. Hey, Danny. Do you mind, comrade? No. I'm busy trying to keep Emmett from letting you lead him into the biggest mistake of his life. Mistake? My biggest mistake was. It'll only take a minute. It'll only take a minute, right? Only a momento. Our plant recorder. It's not a good idea to steal police property, you know. Listen. Listen. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Huh. Because no one else was doing anything about them. Edna, you're the arsonist? D Detective Parker. Oh my god. Surely you're not going to believe this crudely manufactured forgery of a recording. I'm not sure nope. what you believe, ma'am. But based on this crudely manufactured oh. forgery, I have to ask you to come down to the station to answer a few questions about your whereabouts on the night of the speakeasy fire. Oh. You're on your own, darling. Oh. oh very well. I... Heavens, what's that? Oh, get her! Get her! One of these days, I should really stop falling for that. <laughs> sound callous, but does this mean I can demonstrate my invention? Yep. Let's take that as a yes. 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 Greetings and salutations to all our oh. guests. I am Techni, Muse of Progress, and it is my yeah. task once again to highlight the great building a better tomorrow. I'm at Brown. I'm next on the roster. But are you ready? No, I don't have a choice. Did you bring the static accumulator? Here you go. Okay. Here you go. Great. Come on, let's get up there. Oh! Oh my God! Please don't end. just might take off and change the life of everybody in town. Ha ha ha! The very thing he's brought to share with us today. There you go, Doc. Are the block bearings all in the raised position? Block bearings, block bearings. Here you go. Oh my god. Here I go, Doc. I do. I love you, Doc. Ew. Chicks there! Chicks there! What the hell was that? Turn down the music a bit. It's a tiny bit loud if you get my drift. A tiny bit loud. Objection, Your Honor. 
What? I demand that the scientific demonstration of Von Emmett Lethra Brown be terminated and forfeited oh by reason Oh my god. I declare him to be in contempt of me, his father. Oh, come on. Where is he? Hand him over this instant. Hey, older. Emmett, are you up there? <clears throat> you don't think you can shelter him? I can, right? Emmett's gone. You're making a scene. Come on, Mr. Uh, Judge, sir. You're kind of making a scene here. So making a Wrong. scene. I'm stopping my son from making a scene here. Don't antagonize him. Oh. Well, you're not going to say anything. I will. So he is up there with you. Thanks a lot. Get down. I order you to come down from there this second. No. Don't. Don't. I'm counting to four. I... Is he German? I want to speak to my son. He's German. Why is his dad German? Talk to you uh, directly. Oh. I suppose you're his mouthpiece. So he is German so. then. Fuck oh, man. His mind is made up. You can't talk him out of it. His mind is made up. It is. Oh, if talking won't work, there's always threshing. No, it is not. No, it is not. Can't just wait. Can you two have it out later. You mean. After? Yeah. No. Oh, shut up in your if face. You so, sir. The problem is, is you're coming on too strong. You intimidate him. him. I don't intimidate him enough. That's the problem. Oh my God. Can't this wait? Stay right. I'm not good. I'm not going anywhere. Damn it! I'm Damn not it. talking to him. There's no point. Bite the bullet. What's the plan? So, what's your plan? What's your plan, Marty? Just stand here like this indefinitely. After a few seconds. It need the music needs to be up because that background, like those chatting that's happening constantly. I don't even know what that is. I can have it on free again. Of petrification will set in, and that'll be that. Yes. Okay, that is a plan. It is a plan, a very bad plan, if you ask me. He's got to give you a fair trial. Bite Just the bullet. Don't deal with them. What have you got to lose? That's what they said to Custer. Who's that? I don't know. I don't. I don't he know old 1920 shows. He is a judge, after all. He is. Yes, a judge who's already passed sentence. No. Oh. He won't listen to me. He never has. He listened I'll to you the other day when you were giving me a, a talk. Fair? What? So. It is your client prepared. Is my. Got this wet? He says he won't listen to him. He says it's no use talking to you. Y you never listen. You don't listen. How pig-headed he is! Of course I listen. No, you don't. Justify his craziness. I'll be only too happy to indulge it. No, you right won't. There. Indulge his happiness. Emmett, I'm not I like how I've got a bit of middle on here. He promised to listen oh, to you. He said he'll listen. Well, at least give it a shot. Give it a shot, Emmett. Give it a shot. Come on, father. Son? You've never understood the first thing about me. All you want to do is step on me, squelch my natural instincts. Understand. You don't know what it's like to be young. You don't know what You're it's like to have dreams, have ambitions, so great and so powerful that they've got What the hell? Shut up! Shut up! You probably can't even hear me from all this.